you guys, unfortunately, are not going to be able to. Damn, where's my uh, keyboard? I would say the end word for YouTuber. Notification. Okay. I just realized I don't have... You know what? Is it even going to matter if I have chat pulled up on my hand or not? No one's going to say anything, right? If, All right. Not, if it does, we can always, like, talk about it later. So... I did, I just, this was just for my sake. I did use safe to start things out. Uh, so I'm going to go with original. Um, so that monsters spawn because safe mode gives me infinite amounts of uh, oil as well as it removes enemy spawning. This application, its author, and uh, Sclerosis Project are not in any way associated with frictional games and is completely a hobbyist project. This application does not distribute any game data or other copyrighted content not owned by the author. You must own a legal copy of Amnesia The Dark Descent before you can play Sclerosis. I do not support nor condone pirated versions of Amnesia. All textures, models, designs, sounds, and music are, uh, are reproduced in gameplay. Screenshots and videos are the property of frictional games unless otherwise specified. I'm so jet. Welcome to Sclerosis, an unofficial remake of Amnesia The Dark Descent. What follows is a couple of quick messages on how to get the best possible experience. Sclerosis, as well as the original game, should not be played to win. Instead, focus on immersing yourself in the game's world and story. Although the game world is not paused when you open the journal or the inventory, all character, parameter, uh, all character parameters that are spent over time, such as the oil and the lantern, are not changed. Read notes and explore the contents of pockets at your own pace. Do not worry about uh, when and how to save during gameplay. The game will take care of that for you, which I have learned myself, as I was not careful and I softlocked myself in my previous attempt. Uh, when you want to leave the game, just choose save and exit. You can then continue to return to where you left off next time you start up the game. The world of Sclerosis, as well as original as well as original game, is a dangerous place, uh, and you are extremely vulnerable. Do not try to fight the enemies you encountered. Instead, use your wits. Hide or even run if necessary. This is uh, that is all. Hope you enjoy and immersing yourself in the world of Sclerosis, as well as original game. Frictional Games and the remake creator. Uh, what is that? Gordy Ehrman? Alright. So. Don't forget. Hello, people. This this is actually me. I have my camera set up at 400% per, uh, zoom. So that. Oh, God. Okay. This is, this is just blurry vision. This doesn't affect me. Um, the, um, what is, I can't remember what it's called, I am Daniel. but there is one effect in here, uh, vertigo, that's what it's called, that absolutely makes me feel like I'm gonna vomit, which I have left on, for immersive purposes. Okay, so when I start, I'm going to be on the floor, as such. Still don't know what's around me, if those are like rose petals and blood, or if it's like blood, rose petals, and the tonic. Okay, those look like roses. Ugh, okay. So, it was just telling me that I'm able to hold, grip, left stick to walk, right stick to turn, press and hold the right stick. Okay, so, like this. I can also press in the right stick to teleport move, which I do not have on. Well, I, it, it's, it's not something I use, per se. Now, for objects, I pick them up and I let go. So that allows me to pick up tinder boxes. So, basically telling me, like, if I definitely can't right now. But under usual normal circumstances, okay, the pass has been uh, added, so I can press this, follow the liquid trail, and find its source, which I can put away as, as such. 
Apparently can't grab that yet. I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. Actually, I think it might be because... Oh, wait. There we go. Look at that. Inventory and all that. Slap that again. It's gone. So. Uh-oh. What's happening? Opening game menu, which I can, I can, I can't press the uh, mini menu button because that pulls up my Steam uh, VR overlay. Oh, by the by, I don't have to grab objects. I can just slap them if I want to. That does work with doors actually as well, which is a very unique, very cool ability. So, for example, this door. Let's take this door for uh, into account. So, this is me grabbing onto the door, as you can see. So, I'm not going to grab onto it. I'm just going to... I saw that feature. I thought that was extremely cool. Ugh. There's also a... Uh, there's also an auto-crouch feature. Which will, uh, if you crouch to a certain point, it will automatically put you down the rest of the way. So that you don't have to, you know, actually go all the way down in order for it to recognize you as crouching. Which is another feature that I do enjoy. Get over here, you bottle! See, look at this. I can grab it at, like, different angles, different hand positions will be used. For example, like, at the top here. Okay, well, it doesn't... It, that's... Uh, that kind of works. You can see there, my pinkies uh, curve more towards my hand, but if I grab it up here, that doesn't happen. Which I think is a really cool feature. <laughs> Don't complain to me about breaking things. I'll break whatever I want. Oh, just, I just slapped my fucking green screen. What, 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 did, what, did I, what did I say, guys? I said I was going to slap my green screen. Uh, at least it's, I haven't knocked it down or anything. Is this a forward? Okay. So if a door is completely shut, the pushing doesn't work. You actually have to grab it and open it. I just opened my inventory. You. Don't look at me like that. Oh, this is where I go insane, I think, right? This is the first time I Maybe. go insane. Yeah, here it is. Watch. I'm gonna snack. I'm snacking. Wait. Oh, there it is. I'm snacking. Look at me. I'm snacking. Oh, God. There is one section I am absolutely terrified of. Hey, you. Yeah, uh, you'll do fine. Okay. Now then. One thing I'm not going to be doing is entering that room. Because that room serves no other purpose than to hurt you. Nothing. There are also various, uh, there are a lot of different settings in here. I apologize for the flashing. Okay. So then. Witnessing unsettling events will reduce your sanity and be increased by completing puzzles and making progress. Oh, beware when standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly drain, turn on lights in the environment using tinderboxes or search for other sources of light. I don't think, is there anything important in here? I think there's like a couple of tinderboxes. Yeah, there are. 
which is going to spawn these little assholes. You're a little asshole. Invader, is this your family? Is that your family that just vanished in my uh, in, in front of my eyes? Uh, sure. Awesome. Here's another thing. Everything has weight. There are some things I there are some things I can't move if I don't have both of my hands on it. Or they'll be significantly easier for me to maneuver and use if I'm using both hands. I don't think I can make a demonstration out of this. No, because that's an environmental rock. There are some things I also can't pick up, even though it looks like I should be. So, this right here is the lantern. The lantern has a very unique way of working. When the lantern is filled with oil, use the left controller to equip the lantern. The lantern is on your belt. To turn off the lantern, grab it uh, with your other hand. Now, that's not entirely true. See, I'm able to turn it on like this, but if I just grab it like that while it's near my belt, if I just, you know, give it a quick grab, it will turn it off as well. Also, make sure to give your guy to give you uh, yourselves a little space because there are some things uh, you will have to reach over towards to grab. Overall, though, this is very unique and interesting, and interesting at least to me. Oh, oh let me just. There we go. I don't think this counts. This is, yeah, that's that's a relatively light object, apparently. Yeah, the whole... It not technically being open, so I have to grab it in order to pull it open. But this is, this is actually a, a good way to gauge this. So this, you can see, it has a lot of shake to it. But if I grab it with both hands, it's a lot more grounded. Also, this, this is a good chance for me to show that depending on where your hand is, the grip will be in a different, uh, it'll be in a different way. Very cool. Uh, it's it, all this is extremely cool. I love it. I love all of this. So, oil. I've never used oil because I've been in the lantern drains oil when uh, when it is turned on. Add more oil to the lantern. Take the oil from the inventory and bring it to the lantern. Awesome. I've never actually had the opportunity to try this because I was playing this in safe mode. If I'm playing this in safe mode. Uh, I can't, I, I don't come across oil, so can I, do I, okay, so I just, look at that, that's actually really cool. Okay, you bring it to the actual lantern itself. So I'm going to skip over this, because we already read this, we already read all this in, in the, in the original game, when I, when I first played it. Technically not first played it, but first time completing it. As you make progress or pick up important items, you'll recover some lost sanity. So, of course, my sanity is now at a slight headache. Instead of probably, you know, headache and, and hands are shaking or whatever it was. Okay. You're going to have a flashback. Oh yeah, running is also a thing that you're able to do. Uh, so is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come no matter bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? So see here, I I take is a step forward, the... so I'm able to grab both what items from the chest. It? The inner sanctum, my most precious chamber, Daniel, and it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact. It's a shame Alexander is an asshole. He's got such a nice voice. Of
Oh. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go investigate that later. However, as of right now, we are going to. I've never. This is just because again I wanted to test everything. I didn't want to take the edge off of anything playing through this uh, before. I have no experience like, I, I have no experience with avoiding the monsters in this game, so I don't entirely know how that works. However. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. oh. There we go. Tinderbox. Oh, wait, that's right, this is... No, this one isn't. That is... Not open. Alright. 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 Got one hell of grippy hands. Mine. Okay. So, here's another thing. I don't know how dark it is. Wanted to, to just throw that, but I just remembered if I do that, it's gonna probably cause a problem. Alright. Alright. Okay. I don't know if it's just this run or not, but grabbing onto that is a tad bit more difficult than it used to be. I've actually used to be able to grab the pouch without any problems in the past. It's, it just seems that it's like a now thing, which is very, very strange and interesting. You, know, you just grab onto objects like that if you want to light it with a tinderbox. So while this is technically all just a recreation of Amnesia. This is in VR, which means the creator of this went through a great many troubles trying to get this to work, which I greatly appreciate. Look at this, boys. Okay, so again, the whole, I, I haven't really paid attention to like the lighting or anything, like the darkness. It's because whenever I play in VR, Everything is much brighter for me because I'm surrounded by darkness. The only thing that's showing is the game itself. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Alright, so I've I've tried doing this uh, at a different time. I haven't seen if this works like in scenarios like this. Oh, look at that! Come on, how cool is that? You don't have to throw objects if you just uh, put enough force behind it. Seventy. I would. Okay. Um, if you just put enough force behind it, then, oh, I missed one, that's right. If you put enough force behind it, you're guaranteed to apparently break it. So you don't need to throw it like I thought you used to be able to. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. Nope. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. I'll have to start Isn't over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful with that. You can never be too careful, Daniel. Who the fuck is Daniel?
The first one was to get the, the paper. The second one was just because I could. Oh, and the keys are also a very... Okay, so as you can see, I'm a tad bit tall. But it seemed necessary in order for me to be an appropriate height to be able to grab everything. No tinderbox. Okay. Okay, Not it. <laughs> Not it. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Hey, I just realized. Please? That's the first time I've ever. Nope. <laughs> you know what? That's the first time I saw the monster. <sighs> oh my gosh, I can already tell this is gonna exhaust me. Alright. Oh, it's out. Fuck you too. That hurt me. It looks like it did. Nope. All is good apparently, guys. So, keys work like this, as a normal key would, which I don't know why I think, I, I find that so cool, but I do. Beware when standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. Of course, it tells me about the whole darkness thing again. Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left us in a blind to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Refilled lantern with a few drops of oil. So, right, this area. I think I heard that. Anyway, so I'll go pick this up. Oh no! Ow! grab this one last. I almost just fell over. Ignore that. Oh, here it is. Here's the vertigo effect. So, guys, ladies and gents, people everywhere. Um, oh my god, it's already happening. I'm feeling sick. I'm sweating. Oopsie. Okay. So, this is where the whole weight thing comes into play, alright? So, see, I can't... It's a hell of a lot more difficult for me to move that with like one hand. Same with this. So I need to basically use two hands if I'm gonna want to get this thing down. Someone's coming. Okay. And I'm gonna need two hands to move this. So while it looks like it's light, you are gonna have to use two hands for that. Oh my god, this is bad. Ugh, this is really bad. Okay. I'm sweating. I could feel myself sweating. This is fine. What are we doing on... Yep, dot, dot, dot. Okay. 
Oh, but vertigo's gone. Okay, good. Okay, wait, how much do I have? Okay, I have a decent amount. I can kind of use this. You know what? I changed my mind. Never mind. <laughs> the enemy is near, stay out of sight and hide in the darkness. Make sure to turn off your lantern if possible. Oh no, it's back. Vertigo's back. So, Ranger said that she definitely did not want to see this. The whole vertigo effect. And, for proper reason. Oh. Hey, I'm snacking. I just went insane. Oh, I'm snacking. Please get up. Holy shiz, please. Oh my god. Ugh. A little bit. A little bit of vertigo, I think. But it's a lot better. Oh my god. Okay. So, fun fact. That makes me feel sick. So I have to be careful. If you guys are not able to handle things like vertigo effects, you are able to turn it off as a setting. I have it turned on for uh, authenticity reasons. Is that how you, is, is that the proper term I want to use, authenticity? Uh, n no. no. Uh, the or... correct word that you're after is ambient. No, not ambient. Wait, what? Not ambient? To... Atmospheric. Oh, Atmospheric, yes. You okay, Rex? Mm. You oh, okay? Oh boy, he's tired. <laughs> you should probably go to bed, man. Don't fall asleep in the stream. <sighs> God damn it. How many do I have? I have three? I have three. Where's the fourth one? I have to remember where the fourth one is. But, uh, if I don't see you tomorrow, I die in my peace. Please, please don't do that. <laughs> oh, I remember. Here, isn't it? If, okay, but if I don't see you tomorrow, I see you next life. <laughs> or, no, wait, that's his next life. If I, okay, if I mean, every fucking practicality. If I uh, don't see you tomorrow, I see you in Hell's Gate or in Heaven's Gate. Or in Limbo or in, uh, in, the, in the River of uh, Eden. Or the Nile of uh, Egypt. Or on the boat. Okay. You get me this dude. He is fucking dead. Okay. Tinderbox. Tinderbox. Fucking barrel. Sorry. What do you mean tin Tinderbox? Tin Tinderbox. Every single time you use a, a Tinderbox, it just bars at you. Oh my god. So me and my brother, we found. There's a shop in the UK called Menkind, and they do some like really cool, neat little gadgets and stuff like that. And um, we found a YouTube channel uh, pretty fast there. And I, did, I'm not kidding you. Without missing a beat, my brother picked it up and went, "Oh, it's Freddy Forsberg." <laughs> I was like, Fuck it. "Not again." <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> that is a really bad curse. <laughs> okay. A little bit, just so I'm able to see better. Hey, look at that oil. Yeah, I, I can wail too. You're not special. Damn, Skajona. I'm sorry, I put that man's hopes and dreams down. He even stopped. Is anyone there? Is anyone no. there? I don't know. Are you there? No. <laughs> no, I'm just a long one. Look at that. Ah, Jesus Christ! Uh, there should be more coop racks. The coop rack. Let me see. Mine. And one part aqua fortress. Okay, it's bright. Okay, I've got it. Okay, I understand. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So. Can I just grab and place? No. Okay. So, for this, unfortunately, you're gonna have to go in and out of your inventory as you would in the actual game. Which is unfortunate. However, is what is. So, this is another thing I learned. You can spin it without having to let go, which is something I'm going. To, which is something that I desperately needed to learn um, yesterday, because uh, since I learned it yesterday. I'm going to be able to get through the water monster in a better time because, <laughs> believe it or not, um, I tried. Oh, uh, believe it or not, I actually was having um, because I was playing on safe mode. I wouldn't have been chased. However, it did take me about three minutes to figure out what I needed to do. You can use objects to get recharged. Uh, to reach. Wait, can I just I could slap this ladder up there and then that would be fine? Oh! <laughs> Alright. Okay, so. After you reach a set amount of height, the game will automatically push you up. Because it realizes, oh, You've crossed a certain threshold, therefore, we're gonna put you up the rest of the way. By the by, I do wanna point out, please do not get used to this whole thing, because there is a good chance that my that me using my green screen as I am is not gonna be a permanent thing. I do not wanna go through the effort of setting this up time after time. Is this was a night. So if I'm gonna stream like if I'm gonna stream something like VR chat, more more times often than not, what you are going to see me use is the stream camera in VR chat already built in. Because don't get me wrong, I was thinking about it, but after realizing how much difficulty that I had to go through in order for me to set it up like it currently is, which by the by no fucking space to move, um, I realize it's not worth it. It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lantern. Oh, here's another cool feature about this. The lantern handle, it actually turns with the wood. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. So... What's the reason? If I is it so dark? twist this, Pay be careful when enemies are near. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. 
Remember, Invader, be sure not to stray. Not to stray? But what if I'm a stray cat? Oh, oh I saw oh. it. Okay. I want to remind everyone, I have no knowledge of how enemies work in this version of the game. I played safe mode. I wanted to see, like, I wanted to get a handle on all the controls and everything. So, I don't know... I don't know how enemies work in this game, in this version. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna shut this. Like so. I'm gonna turn on some lights in here. Okay. <sighs> Boy, do, am I glad that I live in an age where I don't have to light candles as a source of light. I have a light switch uses electricity so it lights up the entire room as opposed to just a portion. Good for you, I like lighting candles for fun. Mine! Lord, no. Second of time. Lord, no, 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 I don't think so. If there is, uh, then I sure don't remember it. Okay, so. Ah, here we go. So, this is another reason I set my height as it is, so that I can... Uh, there we go. Break that. There, is that what it's like to reach the top shelf? You have to jump? I mean, I have to do my tip of toast. Well, I'm gonna have to help Ranger reach high places. Okay, so, another thing. This, this was also a problem. Which wasn't a problem here. So, what I've learned is, um, I'm gonna just do this just for show. I thought I had to follow the hand motion, uh, and at a relative size, but what I've learned is you need to, uh, move it in kind of a rapid motion in a big circle. Instead of, because, like, when I was, uh, doing the water monster section, um, that little door that I had to open, I tried using my hand in the small circular motion to try and match the pattern of what was on the door. But it didn't work like that. Oh, Invader, I remember this. Here we are. There it is, Invader! There it fucking is! It's scary. Um, fuck, I hate this. Alright. Where are you going? <laughs> Don't do that. Okay. So, I did run through this area and I did test. Ugh to see how fast I was able to go, which I was able to make with a decent speed. Okay, now, 
Oh, please, for the love of God, go as far as physically possible, because if not, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Ugh. Motherfucker. Okay. God damn it. Fucking go. There. You see that? Go after that. Okay. It's going for it. Okay, so this. See how I'm doing... <sighs> you piece of shit. Okay, I think that was actually on my end. I think that was my fault because I... slapped myself against the spikes. <sighs> how much did that hurt me? Wound is bleeding quite badly. But we're fine though. So... Take the hollow needle. Ah. Boom. Okay. Okay. That terrified me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Open. Close. Open. Close. Open. Close. I don't know if you made it faster or not. <laughs> okay, we're fine. <sighs> safe. Relatively speaking. Okay. So, I'm probably going to do what I did before, which I'm going to turn this into a two-parter. I'm going to head down here. Box. What am I doing? You cut some bruises. We're good. Storage. So. This is gonna terrify me. I know this because I ran through this in safe mode, in, in like safe difficulty. And I, di I still didn't feel safe. I felt like something was... ...getting me. I'm gonna go set up my hidey hole real quick. Hi, hidey hole. What's the... ...box there? Uh, can I move the... Can I move you? I'd like to be able to move you. Uh, no. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, my dad just my, my, my dad just gave me like like he went to go and squeeze me and like my spine fucking broke. Nice. It felt oddly relaxing though. <laughs> Look at this. I can hide now properly. Hopefully, we'll see. See, I no, could just press, what is it? I could, yeah, I could press this to crouch, but this is a VR game. 
I'm not gonna go out of my way to make a to, to play a VR game to avoid playing it in VR. That. No, avoid it. It's not worth it, man. Okay. So now, because I picked up that drill part, I am in danger. <laughs> if you are. At least I think I am. Am I gonna bust down the door or not? Have you been chased yet? No. Yes. By water monster. Because I went down the long hallway with the bunches of doors. I also think I stabbed myself against the door spikes. Because the water monster was not right behind me when I got hurt. I swear to god, if I open this door. He's right there. I am absolutely terrified. See, and this is I'm what... terrified. I'm probably going to talk either quieter or less. This is what Mark, Jack, and PewDiePie were missing from their ones. VR. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mark's uploaded um his first part of the Yeah uh, Math Help wanted to. Okay. Do it. Invader, I can't. There's no such thing as can't, there's only such thing as one! Invader, I don't have the budget for it. I don't either. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Um... Which one is this? Sorry if the screen goes dark like that, that's because I'm out of bounds. And the game prevents me from peeking by blocking my vision. Okay. So I know for a fact that there is a door somewhere, I don't know where, but somewhere that I should avoid. Because that door holds a monster. There, you should have been there uh, to fucking see it. I don't think you were there when I when I opened the door and the monster was on the other side. Oh my god, stop! I opened the door. There was a monster like that was apparently uh, like apparently was supposed to like spawn there, and I sat there for a pro. I, I felt like I sat there for like five seconds as it was running towards the door, and then I slammed it shut and ran and hid somewhere, or ran and hid somewhere. Jesus Christ. So, here's a cool thing. Let me let me show you guys how to assemble things. You take two pieces, and then you... And just like that, you have a hand drill. Oh. Wait, do I still have... Yes, I do. Okay, cool. So, now... Let me drill that. Ah, place the pot there. So, don't ask me how this works, but apparently, this pot that I'm filling right now is apparently highly explosive. Alright, look at that. It's picked up explosive. Don't remember, is, this, is that monster? fell over. I'm panicking so hard. Okay. Ah! Please, let me go! I won't tell anyone, I swear! I just want to That's what they all say! I just want to go no, home. Yeah, that's what they all say. Leave me alone! No. Okay. So, this took me a while to figure out. But, the way how I'm supposed to blow this up, I thought that I was supposed to do what I had to do in the game. Which was find a spot to set the explosive down. However, this is different. 
because I slap it against the rocks and I place it there. So, because I have about zero experience with uh, throwing in VR, I am just going to Now, how that doesn't attract the monster, I'll never fucking understand. Okay, I'm gonna set up Heidi Hole 2.0. What am I hitting? I'm hitting my chair. Am I chair in frame? Am I out of frame? Wait, hold on. Let me check real quick. Am I out of frame? No, I'm not. Okay, cool. Okay, so Heidi Hole 2.0. I'm gonna have it like this so that when I crouch behind here, I it's not much, but it's something, okay? Don't fucking don't judge me. I'm not judging you. Uh-huh, you're just silently judging me, right, Invader? No, I'm playing the Sims. Oh. Judge you have no time to judge then. Exact amondo, home size. <laughs> And that's the first and last time you'll ever actually hear me say that. <laughs> I'm glad I got it on camera then. Uh, okay. This is the room. This is the room. I don't want to open that door over there. Because that door holds monster. And I don't want, I, I don't want no business with monster. Whatever monster business is, is monster business. It's like human business is human business. I'm worried that because I'm not lighting anything, it's like super dark and no one's able to see. So I'm going to avoid that door. Ow. Oh. Oh yeah, I did this last uh last night. Uh with Ranger. So I picked up these two things here, and rave party! Woo! Woo! Oh rave party! Woo! Woo! Anyway, shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god! Holy shit! I forgot. I needed to shut the door. You okay? Yeah. No, I'm fine. I just I almost didn't shut the door in time. I saw the monster in plain daylight. Okay, sweet. <laughs> oh, shit! Where's it going? You got it! Yes, invader. I forgot to tap the pet stuff for my pets. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Be cool. This is probably a really bad time to say this. Mm. But I need to use the bathroom. <laughs> Good, man. I'm in the middle of a horror game invader. I can't just put stuff down and go and take a leap. 
That's funny because that has two meanings. Get down. Because, you know, take a leak, like. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. take a leak is in the yeah. plant. Yeah, was it just, was it just that unfunny? I'm gonna take that silence as a yes, it was just that unfunny. There it is. No, stop that. <clears throat> Earls, you have one chance to redeem yourself. And even then, you're not redeemed for hurting me. Oh, God. Invader, it's back. Oh, uh, what's right? The vertigo effect. Damn. Jesus Christ. I hate the vertigo effect. Let me tell you, I legitimately feel sick. Ugh. Excuse me. Can't see anything. Oh, fuck it. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Running for freedom. Running for freedom. Oh my god! Safety! Okay. Okay. This vertigo effect sucks ass. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. Using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shade See, much that's that's me right there. That, that would be me. That would absolutely one million percent be me. <laughs> but it looks ridiculous. <laughs> Please tell me, like, the vertigo effect doesn't go on. Oh, yeah. Nope, it's not. Journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? Did it by chance, Daniel, have a number three on it? If so, I may have a few ideas. Damn, nothing on that one either, Invader? I thought that one was pretty fucking good. Second of two. Oh, Invader's probably not here. <laughs> No, I'm here. Oh, you didn't respond to anything. Sorry, um. Focus? Yeah. Got it. That's all you needed to say. Crowbar! Uh, uh, uh. I'm trying to think what's a pretty cool meme. An elegant weapon for a more civilized time. You know what? You did it. 10 out of 10. Perfection. Yes. <laughs> yes. The first joke I actually made off camera when I was playing through this with Ranger was... I was trying to make a joke with uh, with Gordon Freeman. Uh, <clears throat> but Ranger didn't know who that was. No! <laughs> so like... the joke completely fell flat. That's heartbreaking. That honestly is... Holy shit, either make me go insane or get rid of the vertigo effect, please, Jesus Christ. I'll light every fucking candle in a room. If you really want me to, just let me regain some sanity, please. Look into this can- oh my god. I feel sick. I've named my dog after my boyfriend, you know? Jesus Christ. Nice. So you think of your boyfriend as a dog, got it. I mean, he's cute like one.
But the odd thing is, I call him Buddy. Poor stuck. Right, due to a broken lock. Just, hold on, grab the grab the crowbar real quick. Oops, man. Nope. Nope. Okay. And then... Give it a good old heave! Let it be. Let me! We're fine. Okay, that's the first time I saw that pop up for hiding. Oh my god. You ever just get so scared that you start to get tired? Um, I, I, I suppose. Because let me tell you, it's happening to me right now, and my god, does it suck. Okay. So yes, there's a key in this. I need to find a way to open it. Wait, I have a key. Slam it on the ground. Ugh, god damn it. Oh, that. Okay. So, we have the key. There's only one more thing we're missing. So, let's head to the back hole. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. That really just, that really fucked me up. <laughs> the vertigo effect is super hard on me because I don't get like motion sickness easily. However, if it does something like that, it's a bit too much since my body's never really had a chance to adapt to it. <sighs> oh god. I don't mean to yawn as if I'm tired, guys. Believe me, that's not that's not why I'm yawning. I'm yawning because I'm running out of energy from panicking. Hey, Invader, look at that. It's a mini statue thingy over here. Look at this. What the fuck is this? Who is this? Who are you? I don't know who this is. Is that bad? I feel like everything is supposed to be like this. There's something. I don't know what this is, though. I just saw this. <laughs> cool. Well, it's coming with me. It's fine now. I think I could take items with me to other areas. Maybe. Have you tried it? No. Never. This is the first time I'm going to be trying it, though. Ooh, do you know um the YouTuber Joe Cat? Do I know the YouTuber who? Uh, Joe Cat. He does a lot of D and D stuff. He does some animation stuff. Um, his most well-known one is him singing um like his version of a song where he's like uh or, like big girls or like itty bitty girls. Um, and it's him basically talking to chat about it. Um. Well, the animation uh, itself is like really popular, but apparently people bullied him off the internet just for that because it ended up reaching people that just don't like him. That's stupid. Oh yeah, 100%. What if I make fun of you for making fun of him for it? Oh, I'm not making fun of him. Oh, no, because no, I not no bullying. What if I bully you because you bullied him? You can is bully me. Is, is that gonna be is that gonna be like a, a Rick and Morty thing? Hey, the bully just made bullying the new bully. Bully him or something like that, right? Yeah. Like, what it was, people saw it as a misogynistic thing, and it's like, but he's literally singing about what what girls he likes. And it also enough, could be joke. Um, yeah, but the thing is, like, if you 
watch it. It's literally him saying that he likes all kinds of girls. That's it. Like... Why have you gone all the way to your mother's room? Your mother. <laughs> <laughs> We're telling your mom, Mr. Krabs. Anyway. <laughs> okay. I don't think Is I remember the order that the valves should go in, but I have a general idea. Okay. Ah! Okay. Is, is this elephant in the room right now? <laughs> I'm an elephant. Uh huh. Tell me more about that. Uh, elephant noises. I don't know All right, what noises an elephant make. I don't know. <laughs> Toot. Toot. Wait, no. That that. Wait, yeah, I yeah, there. I know what you're doing. You're trying to trick me. Oh my god! I got a video that I need to send you, but it will piss you off as someone who uh, plays music instruments. Oh god. I'll try and find it in a minute. It's like Better, a really I chaotic... listened to an FNF song and it was so bad. I can't take things with me through other buildings. Got it. Alright, throw through other buildings. Got it. Because I held on to something but it made me why, drop it. Why why did the FNF thing make make you so mad? Because it was so fucking out of tune. It hurt my goddamn soul ten different ways. It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I, if you want later, I could send you the part that honestly, like, really fucking annoyed the hell out of me. Oh, please do. One of my, one of my, oh, I didn't want that. Um, one of my favorite things in life is people doing uh, music charts in rhythm games. And the, um, and it's like wildly out, um, <laughs> like off the or, uh, or out of tune. It makes me laugh so much. Alright, so we're actually almost to, uh, my stopping point because I'm about to finish, or I'm about to get the elevator repaired. And you know, last time what I did was I went until I hit the elevator. And I went down the elevator, and then as soon as the elevator ride was over, I ended the stream. So that's what I'm gonna do again. I swear, wasn't there a wait, was this for something? No, this wasn't for anything. Was it? No, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, it was. Okay, it was for this. Okay, right, right. There we go. I had to think about the positions that they were in. Oh. oh, did I tell you that um I went to go and watch Nightmare Before Christmas in the cinema with my mom? No, you didn't. Oh, I didn't? No, you absolutely did not. Well, I did that. <laughs> cool. It was actually pretty cool. It was um, my second time seeing the movie uh, in the cinema. Oh my god, I'm a Dumbo. I did not bring them with me. Sweet. Oh god, I'm so slow. Can I carry both? Or is that gonna like... No, it doesn't. Okay. Okay. No, there. Last time I played it, there was like a giant hand icon that appeared there and it scared the fuck out of me because I didn't know what I was looking at. <laughs> you. Okay, that's the gears. 
Now all I need is to bring the coal over. Which, by the by, might I point out, it's nice because I can grab two at once instead of one at a time. Maybe I'm just crazy. Crazy seems like the more likely option. Okay. My dog has just splatted on the floor. Like, dude, just flat out pancake, man. You know what's really funny? The first time I played, uh, or I did like the whole like lever thing where I had to make sure that each both up and down had a value of 8. I actually was able to do the math for that very quickly and I got it in like, I don't know, like 30 seconds. And then last night I tried fucking doing it again. It took me like 3 minutes and, he, and then I was like, you know what, I give up. And I just started flipping levers and like 2 levers later I got it. I'm like, are you fucking, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> I find that so <laughs> hilarious and also depressing at the same time because I, my my brain, me using my brain, I wasn't able to get that. But just me like flipping levers by guessing and just in random motion, I got it like almost oh. immediately. Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Huh? I can't hear you. Have I told you how dumb Tears of the Kingdom makes me? Are you in like a tunnel or something? No. Can you hear me now? What? Oh my god. You sound like you sound like you're speaking out of like a, a horn or something. So like your voice sounds diff distant and everything. How long have I been live for? Fuck, I can't see because it's in a bad position again. One hour and twelve minutes, huh? It's fine. Now I need to see speed runs of amnesia. If something like full dive becomes a thing, I know I'm absolutely gonna shit bricks playing a game. Okay. Come this way. What was that? Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. Ahoy. This is where Hi. criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. Uh, is that better, Skagoni? Yeah, that's better. No idea what happened there. Awesome, <laughs> cool. But it sounded like you were talking out of a horn, and I could barely understand what you were saying. Anyway, uh, let me end this real quick, and then I'll hear you out in there, because I have just reached a point that I went down the elevator. So, thank you guys so much for coming out to watch this stream. You all have a fantastical day or night, whichever one it is for you guys. And I hope to see you guys in the next stream that I...